I think the problem is my voice, though. It's like stuck between childhood uh, and womanhood. Uh, everyone. Uh, it's my first time doing stand-up comedy today. Thank you so much. That reaction gets better and better every time I say that. <laughs> so I know what you're thinking. I'm not another little brown comedian. We just got rid of Rishi. <laughs> but like Rishi, I like to make up fake statistics too. Um, so I think 50% of you are looking at me thinking, uh, Poundland David Blaine. 50% are thinking, Purple Rain, Purple Rain. Uh, I'm actually Sri Lankan. Are there any Sri Lankans in tonight? Mum? <laughs> I love my mum, but she loves to play mind games with me, man. Mainly Wordle. Um, what's, what's the other one that's really popular with the Asians? Uh, oh, yeah, Emotional Blackmail. That's a great game. And my dad, on the other hand, he only knows two things about me. Uh, one, that I like stand-up, and two, that I like Pokemon. So whenever he sees me, all he says is, when are you going to evolve into Ramesh Ranganathan? <laughs> really nice. Uh, I'm, I'm married as well. Uh, my wife's really supportive. Uh, she said, if you mention me in your act today, uh, I'll cut you, um, <laughs> which is really nice. I think English people are really romantic. Like one of my mates who's English, he went all the way to Thailand just to buy his wife. Um, no, that's it, actually. <laughs> just to buy his wife. Um, my other English mate, he's, uh, he's bisexual at the moment because it's quite trendy. Um, <laughs> thing. Uh, his, his wife doesn't know yet. Uh, his husband's fucking pissed off, though. Uh, yeah, I'm not really a romantic person. I'm more of an educated person. Uh, I recently enrolled in this uh, really prestigious scheme. It's called a National uh, Speed Awareness Course. Um, I'd like to thank my ancestors, who are obviously all Uber drivers. Um, Thank you for giving me shit driving skills. Uh, in fact, I'm probably talking to you the wrong way. You probably uh, recognize me better. <laughs> like, that might be, is that? Uh, well, actually, it's crazy, I know, but I'm a teacher. Um, my teacher's name is Mr. Sanka. Uh, luckily, the primary school kids couldn't rhyme that well. <laughs> the secondary school kids are, right, Mr. Sanka, he's a well-educated individual. They're quite nice. I think the problem is my voice, though. It's like stuck between childhood uh, and womanhood. Uh, <laughs> like, could you imagine me trying to break up a fight? All I could do is purple rain, purple rain. It wouldn't really uh, work. And I remember the very first day I was a teacher, and I walked through those school gates, and I heard, hey, mandem, look at this fucking pussy, yo. Hey, blood, come here. Next time you see me, you better fucking check in with me, dickheads. And that was just a receptionist. <laughs> It's crazy. Uh, yeah, my, my, my students are actually quite nice. Uh, they let me play football with them because um, I'm about the same size as them. Uh, they call me the Muslim Harland. Halaland. Um, it was better, what they, better than what they used to call me, uh, Osama Bin Teke. Uh, I know, they gave me the number 9 slash 11, which is a bit <laughs> dark, man. Bloody hell. Uh, but it's really nice like when schools are really in inclusive of, of your religious beliefs, uh, even when you're not even fucking Muslim. That's really, really nice. I really appreciate that. Um, we, we do look the same, though. It's true. We do look the same. Um, I, I think brown people have it hard because like, we don't really get like eye contact. Yeah, we don't really get... <laughs> We don't really get eye contact, man. It's, uh, it's really fucking hard. I think the only people who give us like, really long, meaningful eye contact are, are racists. Um, <laughs> like, uh, it's really weird. I think racism must be quite stressful because I've never met a racist uh, with hair on his head. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? I've got to give them some credit because like, a racist saved my life the other day. Uh, I left the gas on in the kitchen, and as I went out, uh, if he hadn't told me to fuck off back home... Uh, <laughs> so he actually saved my life. You know, I've got to give racists some credit, but not too much. I mean, they get universal credit already, so... Um, <laughs> so yeah. Thanks so much. Uh, so I thought, actually, I'm going to end racism today, and I've got this with me. Uh, and I've been looking at you this whole time, sir. Uh, you look like a pure and wholesome individual. What's your name, man? Uh, Josh. Josh, and what do you do? Uh, you look like a pure and wholesome individual. 
Uh, what's your name, man? What do you do? Students. You look like a pure and wholesome individual. What's your name? What do you do? I can't run this joke any further, so we'll go with that. Um, do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? All right. Um, right, so really easy questions. All right, so uh, in chess, do you prefer to play with black or white people? You got asked the question. I've got this many. Um, you don't play chess. You don't see color, so you don't play chess. All right. Let me ask you one more question. All right. If you're drowning, and there's only two ways you can go, you can either go east or west. Would you go over the east or the west, Asians? <laughs> west? Oh, you actually gave an answer. Uh, I don't have a punchline for that one. <laughs> oh. Thank you very much.